YouTube! This is Maître des Blocs, and today we're gonna continue our Let's Play of King's Quest 2 Redux. So, guys, last episode, we finally passed the door of destiny, and we arrived to a beach next to a wonderful magenta ocean with a orange ish sky. And we got stuck here. <laughs> After all that work, we can't get out of here. We're stuck on the beach. And if we try to go north, we die. On that cliff right there. So, I thought a lot about what we needed to do. And I finally found how to unlock ourselves. We have to go fishing. I told you there was a big fish in the water. I didn't think it was there for a reason, but apparently it you is. Retrieve the empty net. You don't seem to be able to catch anything at the moment. Let's try again. You retrieve the empty net. Once again. You re okay, that was very unlucky. Finally, we got you him. Cast the net into the tranquil sea. Upon retrieving it, you see that you have caught a large golden fish. It falls from the net and flops helplessly on the beach. Do you talk, fish? The fish gasps for air. If it does have anything to say, it cannot speak right now. You grab the flopping fish. Its mouth is wide open and its gills are extended. With great difficulty, you hold the fish as it twists and turns in your hands. You toss the fish back into the tranquil sea. Thank you for not killing me. For your kindness, I will gladly take you across to the other side of this vast sea. You carefully lower yourself down the steep embankment and slide onto the fish's scaly back. You hold on tight as the fish swims far out to sea. You slide off the fish's back and clamber onto the sandy shore of a surreal little island. Thanks, fish. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, let's save right here. Let's see what happens if we go... You attempt to remain afloat in the unusual water. Of course. The undercurrent pulls you under. The last thing you see are your hopes rising to the surface. Okay, I just wanted to check if you could go in the water somehow. It's always good to check. Because why not? There it is! After all that time and effort. After 16 episodes. Or 15 episodes, I don't remember. We finally got to the stupid tower together like a boss. But before I go there, I just want to check if there is anything important around here. Nope. This is it. The very same tower you saw in the magic mirror back in Daventry. Yes, we are here now. <laughs> I want to go there, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to die because this is like too easy. This is it? Do I just knock at the door? The door is locked. There are no footholds or handholds in the tower walls. It would be impossible to climb it. Twin lion statues are situated on either side of the door. It almost looks like they are guarding the entrance. The statues have been carved from some unknown type of rock. The statue does not respond. 
Well, I try at least. Door is locked. Nothing happens. <laughs> oh, great. I thought it was going to display the usual branching your sword, blah, 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 blah. The disc fits <gasps> perfectly into the outer ring on the door. That was completely guessing! Oh dear. Oh no, what the heck is this? Oh no. Oh no. Is this a cycle of water or what? Nothing happens when you push the symbol. You surmise that something is still missing from the hollow. There. That... 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 I don't think I have that object. That... Nope, I do not. Welp. This Fishy. water seems especially briny. You don't want to take your chances drinking it. Can you transport me to the island over there, please? The small island offshore has only a few bushes and palm trees growing on it. You wonder if there's anything over there worth examining. Can I go there? You attempt to- No. The undercurrent pulls- No. Why? Oh. I think this is how you get to it. I can't walk up there. Why? I swear it prevented the me. Undercurrent pulls you under. Well, I can walk that way. And then can I walk this way? No, I can't even get in the water. A closer examination of the rocks confirms that they are indeed made of quartz. Well, that doesn't help me. Thought maybe I could move it. Guess not. Circular object. I need... Circular... Object. Come on. If I forgot an object early game, I'm done for. Well, it's not for nothing there is an island offshore. Closer. Yeah, I want to check under the rock. It's much like this game to put something under a rock, right? You cannot reach the island from here. Perhaps there is another way to get there. Perhaps my golden coins? The door. I know the door is locked. That. That. You throw one of the coins high. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Welp. Welp, welp, welp. 
I don't think I do have the object after all. My question is, is it something you can get on this island? Or not? A closer. <sighs> Stupid rocks. Man, what the heck? Twin lot. Twin Army statues. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens when you you can't remove the gold disc now. Whatever that is, I don't have it. I think I'm just going to go check if it's something that I can get from here or not. And then I'll be right back. Well, it is something you can get from here, I'm I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Hmm. Also, I realize that something with my distinction of colors might be the the problem here. Because I'm kind of colorblind with some colors on the taints of brown. I didn't realize there was something here of a different color. Haha, <laughs> yes. Some writing has appeared in the sand. It reads, It would appear that you, my dear, are here indeed to help me. Walk to this sand and place your hand upon these words, and you'll see. You place your palm upon the words in the sand. <gasps> you notice some more writing in the sand near the portal. It reads, You may return, but pause to learn a way to flee this cursed place. My end draws near, so hurry, dear, and come swift to me in haste. You pick up the beautiful stone of quartz. Three symbols are depicted in the sand. Perhaps each one represents an action that must be performed in order to establish an escape route from this strange place. Bowl, water, pouring water onto the words. I don't have a bowl. When one I have a bowl, I know what to do. Unless that this that depicted what to do with the tower. The door. The. D I know the door is locked. Stone of quartz. Going you there. Yes. <laughs> As you place the quartz stone into the shallow hole, you hear it lock into place. Suddenly, the statues rumble to life. The truth you will find for one such as I, for the other can only be lying. These words will provide you the means to get by. My companions shall see dying. Very warmful welcome message. <laughs> uh, hi there. If you were to ask my companion if he knows the way through this door, he would answer, Yes. The first carries all manner of weather. 
The second gives cause to be burned. The third is shallow, as it can be deep. The fourth to bear fruit must be turned. If you were to ask my companion if he knows the way through this door, he would answer, No. The first gave birth to all life. The second allows it to thrive. The third sustains all that wander it. The fourth will once a day hide. So, those are the symbols order. But why do they contradict each other? You're not making it easy for me, you know. I think we just have to try one. First, give birth to all life. The second allows it to thrive. And then that, and then that. Uh-oh. You feel the sand beneath you starting to suck at your feet. Great. Sucked in again, Graham. That was not if it. If you were to ask my companion if he knows the way through this door, he would answer, No. The first gave birth to all life. Uh -huh. The second allows it to thrive. The third sustains all that wander it. The uh -huh. fourth will once a day hide. The first gave birth to all life. Uh-oh. No way! Sucked in again. I'm gonna get this. If you were to act, the first gave birth to all life. Uh -huh. The second allows it to thrive. The third sustains all that wander it. The fourth will once a day hide. Well, I can't really think of something that would give birth to all life except this. Because the other does not fit. Allows it to thrive. Sustains all that wonder it, wonder it, and the fourth will once a day hide. Uh-oh. No. Sucked in again. <sighs> if you were to act, the first gave birth to all life. The second allows it to thrive. The third sustains all that wonder it. The fourth will once a day hide. What once a day hides? The door is- No, I know that. I want to check- mm. It is a symbol of the sun. What is this? It is a symbol of a mountain of earth. It is a symbol of a cloud. Gave birth to all life. What gave birth to all life? Water or sun? Sun. Allows it to thrive. Sustains whatever wanders on it, and the fourth once a day hides. Uh oh. Nope. Sucked in again. I think I missed something important. If you were to ask my companion if he knows the way through this door, he would answer. Yes. The first carries all manner of weather. The second gives cause to be burned. The third is shallow, as it can be deep. The fourth to bear fruit must be turned. You do not know yet if you can leave this place. You'd better see to that problem first. Okay. The door is the door is locked. I did it, guys. The first carries all manner of weather. Oh, we did it right, but we cannot see if we can leave. We did not see that yet. Oh. Don't throw that. 
Don't I don't want to throw it into the sea. I want to get some water from it. You have no... You don't want to scoop up water. With that. Don't th Don't. What can I scoop water with? I don't have anything. The plants and the, the plants and their leaves in particular do have an interesting shape. However, the plants are too firmly attached to the ground to uproot. Three symbols are depicted. I know what to do. You don't want to. I don't care what you want. <laughs> you gotta do it because we don't have a bowl. Don't throw. Oh my gosh. The ones who made this game are insane. You can't reach the coconuts from down here. You will. You are. You are already climbing. You remove an ample sized coconut from the bunch growing in the treetop. You are. All Throwing the coconut into the... Nothing happens when you hold the coconut over the symbols. We have to crack it first. Using the sharp blade of your sword, you slice the coconut clean in half. It was not a bowl, it was a stupid coconut! Please. Well, that was not clear! The milk spilled out of this coconut when you cut it in half. Consequently, it contains nothing that could be poured over the symbols. Oh. You fill the half coconut with briny water from the magenta sea. Can you drink this? Oh, I need to try this. You can't. Yuck. You do not want to drink the sea foam. Ah. Oh. Some writing has appeared in the sand where the symbols used to be. It reads, Well done, my dear. You've come so near. A king's quest is soon to end. But if now you go, alone you'd know, our broken path would ne'er mend. Suddenly, the sand begins swirling again. In place of the poem appears yet another portal. That's how we are supposed to leave, but... I think if we go there, the game ends. You've exited this strange world. With no way of returning, you can kiss your fair lady goodbye. And even that is now impossible. As I thought. But I have to try it. Two portals over there now. we do oh yeah we should redo the code that we did last time yay yay <laughs> I'm coming finally normal witches or anything to kill us I'll save the princess and all will be happily. We'll, we'll live happy ever after. Once again. Well. Oh. Of course it's not that easy. Hey, you want to become a kitten. 
Turning the lion into a helpless cub would be ideal, but you'd probably get your hand bitten off while trying to get him to drink it. Okay, what happens if we get closer? Nothing. I didn't say anything. The lion was large, ferocious, and very hungry. You quite literally satisfied his appetite. Unfortunately, you are now very dead. Pour that in there. No point making... No point... With one mighty heave of your sword, you fatally wound the large lion. He slumps to the floor. Mm, nope. We did not get any points for that. I think we're supposed to make the lion get younger. No point. The lion... It's not big enough. Besides, throwing a net over the lion would just make him angry. Distancing yourself from the lion as much as possible, you hold the emerald oh. in such a way that the window's light passes through it and shines directly onto his tail. Instantly, <laughs> something begins to happen. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate what you just did for me. You are welcome. Who are you? At one time, I was Hagatha's suitor, when we were both much younger. Believe it or not, she was quite attractive in her day. Hmm. Yeah, During sure. During the course of our relationship, I fell in love with another woman. In that jealous rage, Hagatha transformed me into a lion to guard this door for the rest of my life. I have seen, or rather heard, many a pretty damsel spend the last of her days inside that room. Incidentally, I presume you have found the exit from this strange island? Yes, but... Then I shall bid you farewell. It is awfully drafty in here. Strange, I didn't notice that when I was covered in cat hair. Well, that was one of the strangest conversations of my whole life. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you, mister. You lift the heavy wooden beam that holds the doors in place. What is that? You scoop the tuft of orange fur into your hand. I think that'll be useful. It's her. She is even more lovely than she appeared in the magic mirror. She sleeps soundly and shows no signs of stirring at your presence. You feel as if you could watch her like this for an eternity. We're here. We're finally here. A battered dresser sits to one side of the room. Its once beautiful mirror is half shattered and the frame is warped and covered with nicks and scratches. Gentle light pours into the room through this large opening. Far below, you see the colorful ocean rippling along the shore of the strange island. Unfortunately, it only seems like a fairy tale. The maiden doesn't respond to your kiss. Her sleep appears to be somewhat deeper than usual. You suspect a magical influence. Hmm... I shall wake you up. As you hold the emerald over the girl, you realize that the light from the window does not penetrate this part of the room. Oh, mirror. We shall push this. The current alignment of the mirror prevents the outside light from reflecting off it and illuminating this part of the room. I should turn it.
Perfect. You hold the emerald between the ray of light and the sleeping maiden. At first, nothing happens. Then she stirs. The radiant light streams through the emerald and dispels the sleeping enchantment instantly. Hello, Graham. Hello. Uh, I think you have me at a disadvantage, my lady. Oh, of course. My name is Valenice. I've been watching you. Watching me? But how? In my sleep, from the moment you arrived in Kalima. The lines in the sand. Those were your words? This is a strange place, filled with much strong magic. Once you arrived, I discovered a way to communicate to you from my sleep. I hope you found my words to be of some aid. Indeed I did, my lady. My heart was warmed greatly when you expressed your longing to see me. I have come to learn a great deal about you, Graham. Of your nobility and bravery. I know why you came here, and how truly deep your feelings are for me. I want you to know that I have come to feel the same way for you. Something about the way she looks at you speaks a thousand words. She loves you, Graham. She really loves you. Save. You have to do this carefully. What? I'm gonna try some things out. First of all, I'm gonna try this. Even if this is a dream, this moment could not be better. Now, isn't this nice? Not you. Hagatha. What a pretty pair. I hope you're enjoying each other's company, since you won't be doing a great deal else for much longer. The door! Why you... Which? I'm sure it would have rhymed. Silence. I will not be so spoken to by the likes of you. Why do you despise her? What has Valenice ever done to you? She has the attention of men all over the land. Attention that once had all been mine. I won't allow her to take it away from me. I think you should just allow the two of us to go. And why would I want to do that? We would leave your realm together, never to return. Then you would have all the attention you could ever want again. Hmm. Nice try, my pretty fly. But you are caught in my web now. And besides, the father would not want you returning and interrupting his search. The father? Is he one of your male admirers? <laughs> you think? The father is one of my, my admirers? <laughs> you silly, silly boy. How naive you are not to even realize that the man in charge of your own army is the man who wishes you destroyed. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it from... Oh my gosh, we have to save this. Okay, witch, you're going down. How can we kill her? Mirror. You don't need. One single move is all we can do, I am sure. And it needs to be creative. Hagatha is not. We can give her what she wanted at the beginning. I have something that might interest you. A youth potion. Brewed from a nightingale, no less. <gasps> you have it? Well, don't just stand there, you foolish boy. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. This is it. I thought I'd never see it again. At last, I have the finished youth potion in my hands. <laughs> Look at me! 
I am so beautiful. Oh, I thought she was going to become a baby. Dang it. Guess the youth potion only works skin deep. Ah, uh, that was a good idea, though. You can't. There's no. Curious as to whether the. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Planning to start your life over? Unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Nothing. After swallowing the map. I'm. You this got to watch. Cube that has nothing that makes us invincible! Nothing whatsoever. There's nothing in Agatha. Now, wouldn't seeing that improve her disposition? Nothing. Oh, that was too long. It looks like Hagatha had the last laugh. Ah. It's the youth potion, a I'm sure. A grown woman would make a far more suitable bride than an infant. Yes, but we have what Hagatha wanted in the beginning. We have to use that against her. No point. Nothing. Hey! Oh my gosh. How did- how did I do that? <laughs> that is- that is brilliant! I have something that might interest you. Oh no. A youth potion. Brewed from a nightingale, no less. You have it? Well, don't just stand there, you foolish boy. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. This no. is it. I thought I'd never see it again. At last, I have the finished youth potion in my hands. Look at me. I am so beautiful. Guess the youth potion only works. That was the right thing to do the first thing there. Do that. Hey. As you start walking. You're You've got to watch that. There's way. a mirror! You don't want to leave, Alan. What a catastrophe. Ha ha ha. There is a mirror. We need to make Hagatha cast her own spell on herself. What a cat! No. You don't. You don't. <sighs> we don't have much time at all. What a cat! There's no. There's. No. Um. Um... If I could only get behind the mirror for one single second. What a cat astro- You had best save your acquaintances until after the present threat has been dealt with. What a cat astro- You don't want to leave Alanisa's side while Hagatha is nearby. 
It would be an awesome idea though. Ow! Like, at the exact second I'm clicking, what the thing pops up, then I think, hey, we can do something with this, but no, that means the time you expired. Can't. Well, I'm stuck again, and I would continue, but this episode is getting really long, so I'll stop here, but I'll leave you hanging in the cliff, and, well, cliffhanger, <laughs> got it? Okay, that was pathetic. Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys next time in the next episode, which will probably be the last of the series if it goes all well. But anyways, thank you very much for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I gave you some enjoyment for your day, brought you a smile or something. And I'll see you in the next one. Metro des blocs.